Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Oh, and, oh, this is great. You guys are getting some form of like abundance or prosperity coming into your life. So get ready to be open to receive. Look at this energy. It says good fortune, abundance and prosperity are flowing into your life now. Open your arms to receive. So make sure you guys have an open heart. Um, make sure you're paying attention to certain things. If you feel guided to go somewhere, if you feel guided to do something, if you feel guided to call somebody, if you feel guided to apply for that job um, or go to a networking event, whatever, right? Your spirit guides want you to go do that, okay? Because I'm kind of getting like finding Nemo, like you kind of going out on an adventure and venturing off on your own. And this is because I feel like this fish looks like they're guided to go somewhere. And this fish is really kind of like not in a pack. And usually these types of fish are in packs, right? So maybe there's something that you do that's unconventional that no one else does, or this is, could be you doing something very well. This could be you being recognized, um, you know, uh, for something it is that you, maybe you've been working hard at it, right? Then we have the energy of evolving technology. So upgrading your life may be necessary now as you have outgrown your old ways. So this is really, really good. This is telling me you guys that spirit has been paying attention to you. Um, you've been putting out good vibes into the universe. You've been doing great things. You've been growing. You've been healing. You have been working hard. And you are going to see whatever seeds that you planted those seeds have been deeply rooted and they are growing okay <clears throat> look at this evolving te technology which really you know for some of y'all like let's use this as an example if you have a business it might be time for you to use something different a different resource include that stuff in like you know maybe social media right get a website update the website do something here a little bit different this could simply also just be talking about you guys like having new friends. You may have, some of you all may have outgrown friends. You may have outgrown a job. You may have outgrown a relationship or a place. You're no longer who you used to be. You're moving into a totally different direction here and it's time to up, make these upgrades, okay? So that means not doing the same things you used to do and not who you used to do them with. <clears throat> Good. This is good energy. Show me here what else for the collective for the week ahead. What else should they be aware of here? Oh, okay, hold on. I dropped a card. Give me one second. Let's see. All right, what we got here? Earth Guardian energy. Yeah, remember I was saying uh, you planted the seed and the seed is like rooted, it's ready to sprout, it's strong. Um, this is something that I feel like you've been working on for a while here. Interesting. The bee energy, summer, bask in joy and light. So this is, the bee also reminds me in Oracle and in Tarot of Abundance, by the way. So we are going to read this. So just make sure you guys are staying rooted, grounded. You're, you have yourself, you know, like around good people or supportive people. Let's see. Let's read the summer energy here. And see what's going on with that. I don't even think I've ever read the summer card yet. This says, rise up and open your wings and shine, okay? Bring your projects and plans out into the light, into manifestation. Summer has always been recognized as a time for joy, for going on adventures and making memories. Flowers are in bloom. Like I said earlier, this is like giving the energy of like you planted a seed. It's been growing. You've been carefully nurturing it, taking care of it. And I feel like the seed represents yourself, maybe a project, maybe a business business, whatever that is, you haven't given up on it, right? And spirit sees that. It says flowers are in full bloom. Animals are enjoying the freedom of the wild summer days and nights. And people are taking holidays, basking in the sunshine and being lifted energetically by the light, the light and warmth. It says this is the perfect opportunity for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Mm -hmm. So go have some fun. You're about to be able to enjoy whatever prosperity and abundance that's coming into your life. Be open to receiving it and enjoy it because you deserve it, right? It says light has come to banish the darkness. Clarity is arriving, allowing you to know exactly where you are 
and how you can move forward. Angels and ancestor guides are encouraging you to enjoy this moment and not to rush forward because this is a time for pleasure, enjoyment, and expansion. There is a great chance that you have extra energy, creativity, and inspiration at this time. Notice what's coming to you as it is as it is inspiration directly from the divine, okay? When the summer card arrives in the future position of a spread, or at least this is the last card in a reading, it also can indicate that coming this summer will usher in important energies with regards to your questions or intentions. So something here important that's coming towards you is about to blossom um, during the summer months. And I think we're Summer is going to last through like, I think, what is it, like September, depending on where you are. Um, here in the States, it's like September, somewhere between the 19th, 23rd, whether you know it or not. Okay. So let's see what else your spirit guides have for you. Be fearless. Stand strong. Okay. Be confident. Um, you are a warrior. Know that you're a warrior. You have the power to do anything your angels and your ancestors are with you just make sure when you do receive this abundance and you do receive this prosperity and this growth that you stay humble shine your light but stay humble and stay rooted and stay grounded okay that's that's going to be very important here what else for the collector for the week ahead for the week ahead okay abundance look at that you guys have some form of abundance now abundance doesn't always have to be like about money abundance can be about you sp having more time to enjoy life with the people that you love your loved ones your family your friends um spending more time doing things that you love to do having um an abundant health healthy life right it doesn't always have to be about money whatever this is going on with you guys right now something is getting ready to improve I'm telling you, there's something here that says the situation will improve. And there's something here that you may want to say yes to or you're trying to decide here. The Spirit is saying you don't rush to do that, right? Because we that message came out earlier in this other Oracle card. Spirit is saying don't feel rushed. Just, just be patient. Enjoy life. And also to get more information about something. Okay, so this is giving also to maybe you have more than one option. That could totally be the case. So if there's more than one option here, say like for instance, a job or promotion, two jobs, um, two job offers, two contracts, whatever that is, there's a need for you to get more information about it and not rush into making a decision right away. What else do we have for the collective for the week ahead? Let's get you a Moonology card here. Have faith in your dreams. Look at that. Have faith in your dreams, you guys. Whatever this is, this this is going to be very good. You're about to be experiencing a lot of growth here. Um, then we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon and Pisces energy. All right. So, again, this is about you staying rooted, you staying grounded, being practical. Um, and don't be don't be overly spiritual. You know, because some people can't be overly spiritual. I'm not. I'm not tell you how to live your life i'm just saying be practical about this stuff let's read balance spirituality with practicality full moon and pisces you could be a pisces or have pisces in your chart you don't necessarily have to let's see where is full moon and pisces weird Hold on, y'all. Okay, here we go. This is like the last one. These aren't numbered. Sorry. Thank you for your patience. Okay. We have, have you been so head in the clouds lately that you've lost touch with reality? If so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention and make a more concerted effort to move towards your goals. 
The more practical steps you can take, the better. It's time to find an inner balance between your responsibilities and your dreams. Now, Spirit does not say you don't believe in them, right? Because remember, Spirit says, have faith in your dreams, but maybe you're just, just dreaming. And I just did a reading about this maybe like a week ago, and it's like, you know, it's good to dream and think about it, but you need to take some form of practical action and get organized, okay? And then take some small steps towards whatever this goal is or your aspiration is. It says... Um, um, meditate on your question and solutions to your answer or to your issue may come through very clearly. If you're in a tricky situation because you've acted like the martyr, this card will be a message from the cosmos to drop the act for everybody's sake. Meditate every day and see what comes to you, okay? You're in a super romantic but not a super realistic state. Oh my goodness. Follow your intuition. It won't let you down. At worst, this card is the herald of the end of a dream. So this could just be the end of what you've been dreaming for and been working hard at. And things are coming into a reality too. And this is also saying um, the person you're inquiring about is a soulmate. Interesting. So you guys might be meeting a soulmate here soon. And then avoid substance abuse. So this is also given like, you know, just have balance in between how much you're drinking, how much you're doing, whatever it is that you do. Okay. Just, just maybe even try to go on a fast and, you know, pay attention to your body, that type of thing. Okay. Um, but right now, this is card is about diving deep into your emotions, practicality with the odds, um, energies of having no borders. So you feel your way now. Um, so this is giving like have, have healthy boundaries to, um, it says your psychic ability is being heightened when the full moon and Pisces and soulmates connect. Oh, interesting. So it's a time to send out your dreams to the universe and release your fears. Okay, so some of y'all might be meeting a soulmate. Um, it's time for you to release your fears. Um, don't be, even if you are dreaming about something, it's just important that you like stay rooted and grounded and not be too like dreamy about it. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense, you guys. Take some real practical approach. Let's get you a financial abundance card and see what else for the coming week. What else does the collective need to know for the coming week? And we got two. Clean, clean energy food. Yeah. It says when you fuel your body with healthy organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and a higher vibration which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. So make sure you guys are paying attention to what you put into your body, right? Because remember, Spirit just said, like, pay attention to, like, whatever substances you're putting into your body. Try to eat cleaner food. Try to eat, um, drink more water. Pay attention to that. And deservingness. And, oh, this is good. Deservingness. You guys deserve something here. This is beautiful. You are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. So you deserve, you're deserving. Remember that you are deserving, you guys. Okay. Um, don't be afraid to shine your light. Don't don't be afraid to dream, but make sure you're taking practical steps towards things, okay? Let's close this reading out here. I'm going to pull another oracle really quickly for you guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Join us on Patreon if you haven't been over on Patreon yet. Um, that's where we do monthly Twin Flame readings. They get extra oracle messages in addition to these that we do over here on YouTube. And they get their stuff before everybody else does. We also do Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine monthly readings over there. And that is also where you get to view all of the extended readings that I do that are come from YouTube. Okay, so you have access to all of that for a very affordable cost. All right, we have Explore Your Options. Remember I was saying earlier, there's like two, like some of you guys might have two options. You might need to explore one and get more information about the other. Don't rush. Make a decision and rush. Make sure you get all the information you need because I feel like one is going to be better than the other here. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see, understand, and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. All right. Um, oh, 
I want to get you guys a spirit animal. Let's get you a spirit animal. These cards are like so huge, just so huge. So it's like kind of hard to shuffle here. Okay, well, there we go. That was easy. <laughs> we got two. So maybe one of these might resonate more with the other. All right. First one we have out is cat independence. Some of y'all might have a white cat here. All right, maybe you do, maybe you don't. A white cat or a beige cat. Um, mm, okay, it's a beautiful cat. It says independent. You are a natural healer. Your your intuition is strong. You don't have to go with the crowd. Life supports you in every way. So be authentically you. You're a leader. You're a trendsetter. Again, whatever it is that you do for a living or whatever you offer or bring to the table is something that nobody else brings to the table. So make sure you have that confidence and, and faith in yourself. The grizzly bear, power. So you're powerful and independent. I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads me. And that was the first thing I got with this good fortune card. It's like this person's being led, not this person, but this fish is being led, right? Somewhere, trust your intuition. You're going somewhere and you're going at it alone. And I feel like it's because you don't do what everybody else is doing. You don't follow the crowd. You trust what you, you know, feel like is necessary for you to do, not what somebody else thinks or the, or the consensus. Um, it says love and gentleness are your real strength. Never give up. It says, I never give up. I will succeed. Okay. The grizzly bear and power. Beautiful energy, you guys. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you like it here. Make sure that your notifications are turned on.